Okay, gonna do, I've just um, done this whole thing and realized that the video wasn't running, so I'm going to have to do it again. Here we go. Okay, so this is our right-hand drive, 18-speed, road ranger setup truck on the Australian map that we can use for a variety of um, jobs, including... Um, no, yeah, that's where I was. So I, I, look, I started reversing it. And I was videoing that, so in some ways I've got things that didn't, didn't, didn't come out. So, but this is what we can do, is we can put all of your logos on the trucks and the trailers. Um, the main one for in this map is the uh, A double and B double, but we can do anything up to quad trailers in the uh, in, in a variety, like a, a livestock trailer for example. Pretty sure I've covered that off in another video. So. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is get out of here. I wanted to show you the trucks that I've had um, put into the other software, which is the Euro one. Now, remember, these are running automatic. So, activating profile Euro Truck Simulator 2. This is just, I've only just installed these this morning with the new um, liveries for the prisoner trucks. Okay, so I'll continue. And at the moment, all of these trucks are set up in the one yard. So, um, and I've only done a couple of different saves. So what we will do is is add to that. So if I go drive, I'm now parked in our garage at a place called Grimsby and um, we can take off from there. But all I'm going to do is change the truck so that you can see how easy it is to do that and, and then take off again. Okay, so this is our Scania tractor unit. So, and simple as this, I go escape. Um, I go into our truck manager and I'll grab grab our little box body and go drive it and yep and now I will be in the box body scanner. Same same cab, um, just a different chassis with a box body on the uh, Up to about five meters so there's a variety of different chassis um, options in the box body uh, if I go into a, uh, uh, my personal favorite the T908 and I go drive that and of course this rig here has got the the Kenworth steering column built into it so it's uh, it's made exactly for this machine. So I've, I've only just had these liveries for this truck and the other kit, uh, and we're getting this truck um, built to go into the Aussie software with an 18-speed uh, road ranger in it. So that will give us a couple of extra options there as well. Yeah, oh, actually, I should have stayed in the world. Go into the cab and give me a look around the cab. You can see there it's got it's set up with the um, the auto shifter. So uh, the other the other model we get for Australia will have the uh, the normal shifter. And, the, and then we last but not least we have the 609. So let's jump in and have a quick look at that. And then, of course, I'll be setting up various scenarios that you can quickly load and jump in. We, you've already got a particular truck, you've got a particular set of trailers, and you're at a particular spot as well. So that's something that we will discuss with each one as to what kind of scenarios would be best. This, this is actually a pretty hot looking thing as well. So I'll go into the cab. Uh, 
exactly the same as the other ones. There's no no difference whatsoever. Just a different model. Of train. So, okay, so that gives us a quick. Um, oh, and so if I go load and load a game, I've got several different saves set up here that I can jump into. Um, and start off with at, at you know we could have 20 or 30 different scenarios set up in here so as long as we also remember which was the more the most recent one so if we want to add something in we do it from there so but really easy so you can see like for example if I go into this one and I go load now this is the 609 but I had it um, with a toll uh, skin on it so it's got a different um, skin on the truck at the moment um, under this save so yeah, same track different, different level but I, I don't want to be there so anyway so that is basically where we're at so if I go back to truck manager and I pick um, oh no because I'm in that version this one is just going to be vanilla skin so I need to go back to the latest save and do that and then go from there so, but anyway that is where we're at so enjoy